So the update, the big update a few weeks ago from Diablo Immortal opened up some new legendaries for old classes. Now, what was really interesting about the Crusader class is that the legendaries are more crowd control focused. What I've done is looked at my Power Steed uh, Crusader build, made a few tweaks with some of the new legendaries so that I can now create a very crowd control focused Crusader. I'll go through the skills, I'll go through the build, and then I'll also go through the gems that will then, in combination, create a really really viable stun crusader build now we are using the holy banner and drawer and quarter as my first skill rotation my second skill rotation is one of the shield glare and falling sword now if we have a look at the items we're using uh, arrow keeper um, which means the holy banner now moves with me so i trigger that with the horse i still use bombardment um, so that it draws down whilst you're using the horse. We're using the shoulders to increase the duration of drawing quarter. We're using uh, falling blade storms that the falling sword now has a um, daggers that float all around it. Um, now the two legendaries from the next update are the flare to mirror. It turns the steed into a lightning steed and more importantly every third lightning strike stuns the enemy. There's about seven lightning strikes per skill rotation, so it's about seven strikes every five seconds, and every third strike stuns. What this means is that with each skill rotation, you should get at least two stuns in to the target. The second le new legendary is the Constant Scrutiny. This changes Shield Glare. Shield Glare used to be um, directional and only stun if they were looking at you. Now it turns it into an area of effect damage, so everything around you gets stunned. Now for my gems, Bloodstock Jade, Best in Class, Fervent Fang, Battle Pass, and Boon of Plenty. You should get at least four of these a month using both of them, so that will go up to rank 10 very, very quickly. Blessing of the Worthy for some um, uh, damage mitigation, and Bottled Hope to increase my steeds um, speed and damage. Now the two Best in Class gems for this stun steed build is the Pain of Subjugation. I've got mine at rank 10. It increases increases damage to enemies suffering loss of control and chip of stone flesh every time you apply total loss of control now there's a big difference there total loss of control is blind or stunned and loss of control is freeze slow anything like that but total loss of control will apply explosive curse that curse will explode for damage equal to 40 percent of the damage taken during its duration up to a maximum of 210. now what that means for our build is if I hit them with the shield glare to stun and then hit that area with the falling sword, they're now hitting the damage, the two gems proc. Then I mop up with holy banner and drawer and quarter. Now remember, drawer and quarter has got the new thunder horse pants, so that every third lightning strike is also stunning. What that means is that you've got a two, uh, two skill rotation by the time the first two skills have been depleted the second one should be in cooldown so for example we're at 112 challenge rift here at the moment if we just get some uh some enemies put together hit them with the stun now they're going to be hit and then we hit them with the lightning and again every third lightning strike is hitting that and then we just start the rotation all over again and by the time that finishes, we should have the other one up. Now, in this particular instance, I'm triggering everything at once, but I tend to just do that and then walk away, let it do its thing. And then once I'm happy, I'll do that one, two, three. See, they're stunned. One, two, three, stunned again. So this has been a really, really fun build. Um, the crowd control mechanics also carry over to PvE really well. Um, I've got a separate build for PvE that uses more um, crowd control. But again, we stun, we put Falling Sword, we get out the way, we let the curses go, and then we mop everything up with the horsey. So survivability on this build is actually really good because of the, um, the blessed gem. And it is a very defensive style play. Do your skill rotations, survive, but stun that. And then holy banner. And then horsey to mop everything up. 
And again, seven lightning strikes per skill rotation, only takes three to stun. Stun. And there we have it. So I'm not gonna do this whole riff because it will take way too long. Um, but it's a really, really viable stun steed build with a two skill rotation. And I'm really, really having a lot of fun with it. Anyway, let me know if you like it.